Welcome back. This is part five of uh, autonomous database where we will discuss about management as well as monitoring options which are available for autonomous databases. We provide a lot of choice of tools for uh, various personas and uh, starting with enterprise manager or Oracle management cloud, OCI console or uh, DB management service or SQL developer web. So these all are tools which are uh, bundled with uh, autonomous databases. And uh, to start with Enterprise Manager, uh, it is targeted for hybrid cloud administrators. What I mean by hybrid cloud administrators, uh, this Enterprise Manager can be deployed either on OCI or uh, it can reside on on-prem. And it has ability to manage multiple database instance across on-prem as well as uh, Oracle Cloud. Those who want a kind of consolidated view, that's the use case and hybrid cloud administrators uh, will deploy it either from marketplace or uh, they can leverage the existing uh, deployment of OEM cloud control. On the other hand, uh, Oracle Management Cloud, so it is again targeted for hybrid cloud administrators managing multiple database instances across on-prem as well as heterogeneous cloud and uh, provides a consolidated view. And uh, coming to OCI console, this is targeted for cloud administrators where uh, you can manage multiple departmental adb instance which, uh, where you need a uh, quick access to performance data across the instances there are different features like performance hub uh, which are natively integrated within oci console and uh, there could be some new services coming up uh, which might go into much detail and then and just the performance hub so sql developer web that is targeted for technical developers and uh, by using it uh, someone can work across multiple autonomous database instance whether it's development or qa and uh, it, they need access to sql performance data so these are all uh, part of these tools so in terms of uh, various uh, management interface enterprise manager 13 uh, starting with 13.3 uh, they support autonomous uh, database uh, dedicated so database actions are exposed through cloud UI as well as uh, REST APIs. Uh, you are able to control database creation, termination, backups, restore, stop, start. Uh, it's, you can do changes to the provisioned CPU uh, as well as the storage uh, from the cloud console or through REST APIs. The monitoring is available through the cloud service dashboard. You are able to take advantage of Enterprise Manager Cloud Control as well as Performance Hub. Performance Hub is very interesting. It provides you performance data basically available for a specific time. You can do active session history analytics as well as SQL monitoring. Active uh, session history analytics can be used to drill down into database performance with multiple dimensions like consumer groups or weight class. Uh, so they are all part of Pub Hub. SQL monitoring is used for looking into long running SQLs as well as looking at their execution plan. Uh, how much uh, amount of database time is used. So these uh, tools becomes really handy. Uh, developers are able to use SQL Developer or any other developer tool that supports a standard Oracle database connections. In addition to that, Oracle REST data services uh, we discussed uh, briefly in previous slide. By using that one, someone can just build REST APIs for data as well as procedures uh, within the database. So let's take a look at the various interfaces uh, which are available to autonomous database. Uh, we have uh, different kind of clients like OCI API clients, OCI console, OMC, SQL developer web, as well as enterprise manager cloud control. So enterprise manager cloud control work through enterprise manager agent, uh, web-based uh, SQL developer, they work with the uh, ORDS services. Even OMC uh, uh, connects with ORDS uh, to provide some of the functionality and they have REST APIs for autonomous data warehouse and ATP. And uh, ATP dedicated, they have a separate agent. Uh, OCI console, it is DBAS control plane and uh, the other uh, agent which runs, uh, which helps with all those matrices and data within the console. So at uh, the management logic inside the autonomous database, uh, you have performance diagnostic, active session history reports or uh, AWR reports kind of functionalities are available. Uh, in terms of monitoring, you have different matrices or SQL stats or top SQL stats in terms of log management, audit logs or job. Uh, and different unit parameters can be uh, viewed using uh, these kind of interfaces. It provides single set of API for collecting matrices that are exposed by various consoles. Uh, and Enterprise Manager or OMC provide both uh, database server backend as well as frontend UI support with unified data collection. 
looking at uh, the capabilities of uh, autonomous database management so it's monitored by a discovery agent which is basically installed uh, in the customer premises or on the oci and that agent is nothing but a regular enterprise manager agent on a post uh, at customer premises as well as uh, it could be on oci a compute host and that will have a sql net access to autonomous databases so agent is a regular em agent and uh, it provides like various features uh, app dba can need uh, to monitor the as well as diagnose the performance basic application level administrative operations so those uh, are present enterprise manager oms oci console uh, provides this database movement cloning monitoring alerting as well as deep performance diagnostic and troubleshooting uh, performance as well as capacity insight based on the historical data so we're starting with analyzing diagnosing manage move and discover and monitor so these phases are covered using uh, these features so just to summarize of what uh, we have learned over course of this uh, session we discussed about various features of autonomous database cloud service as well as the use cases which uh, understood uh, uh, different comparison between uh, various services like automated versus autonomous we understood the connectivity options uh, we looked at uh, database service deployment best practices as well as uh, how service management is handled in autonomous database we discussed about migration options for autonomous database as well as uh, various manageability option as well as security option high availability aspect uh, when dealing with uh, autonomous database in some way we can say autonomous database provides a kind of uh, database using the XR data infrastructure that is the uh, best database platform to run any kind of critical workload of any size or scale and uh, you can either go with a customizable operational policies uh, on especially on dedicated side or like you can start with a serverless deployment which is uh, easy for uh, any kind of uh, application to get started faster mostly for development or uh, test or uh, production kind of workload where uh, you want oracle to manage uh, most of the stuff and you want basically all the machine learning and ai capabilities of uh, this autonomous databases so thanks for uh, watching and uh, for more information you can always look into our uh, oracle.com website as well as oci training and certification pages and uh, we have uh, several oci hands-on labs under oci training cloudable.com uh, so that you can leverage for practicing uh, most of the concepts uh, what we discuss here as well as we have a Oracle learning library and videos are available on YouTube. So thanks for watching.